Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Eradication X. Now before we get into this video, I just want to announce another giveaway. So once again, I'll be giving away an Eradicator rank together with a donated bond. So there will be two winners in this video as well. All you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed, comment your in-game name down below, make sure you like the video and also turn on the notifications so you get notifications of when I upload a new video. Anyways, in today's video, I will be going over some of the few Features that we have on the server like some bosses that we can go over some special teleports some of the custom pets as well I'll be going over a bunch of things so definitely make sure you stay tuned for all that anyway starting off I'm just going to show the uh, custom tab right here as you can see you have a bunch of uh, things you have here a bunch of options like teleports character information kill cam titles quests commands forums and the home which is basically the home page of the website I'm going over the teleports right now, right here you also have 5 more options, but I'm going to be specifically looking to the boss locations. As you can see there is a custom interface right here um, in the boss location, so you can see your own player information and then the boss information once you select a boss. For example this is General Grador, it's level 624 and you have 2600 HP that you need to drown. Um, and then of course you can see all the drops that it has. But besides that, there are a bunch of bosses on here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to showcase some of the more custom bosses. As you can see, the Fatal Resort um, can drop the Royal Court Rapiers, and something can drop the Ascension Crossbows, and then Copyright can drop the Virtus Wand and Book. Um, then you have a bunch of other really cool custom bosses as well. Um, here, the Eradicator can actually kill Battle Mage Ropes, Trickster Ropes, and uh, Vanguard. Um, then you have Blink, who, who will drop the Dry Guards together with the Firebrand Bow and the Razor Whip. You also have Fair, who will drop a Lightning Staff 1 and a Tsar Whip 1. Necrolord, Corporal Beast, um, Queen Black Dragon, Nomad, Wildy Worm in the PvP areas, which will drop Greater Demon Flash, uh, Avatar of Destruction, Citral Queen, Haiti. And um, you still have like a bunch more like Sea Singer, Dead Locus and of course Jenny. And now I will showcase Jenny because this boss can actually drop Paray Paramaya tickets, my bad. Um, and I'll go over these in a second. But first let's go ahead and teleport to Jenny Blade. Which has 8000 HP, that's not too much. But I killed this in the raids, you actually have to kill it in raids as well um, in my last video. And it's actually quite a decently hard boss but... In my armor it shouldn't be that big of a deal so I'm just going to kill this once so let's have a look if we can actually get something really cool let's see if we can have a huge special attack there we go get, ha, getting some good hits in like in, in this armor which by the way this will be the best uh, mage armor but right now the stats still need to be fixed I already mentioned this to the owners and that will be done on the next update I'm actually recording this right after I finished my last video so that's why but as you can see, once um, these are killed, you can get yourself some uh, Paramaya tickets. Now these Paramaya tickets can actually be used uh, to buy pets, which I'll go over in just a second. I'm just going to gather about 50 of these tickets and then I'll be going over to the shops area so I can show you guys um, what you can buy with them. And there we go, we just passed over 50 of these tickets. So let's go ahead and go to the shops. This is where you can spend them um, to buy custom pets. Now as you can see, once you are at the, spot, uh, at the shops, you just have to run a bit to the south. And then you will have to look for the eradication seals and character. Um, once you talk to this one, you have to open Jenny's shop, which is the fourth option. And then Jenny's pet store. You also have the perk store. As you can see, you can buy yourself a Santa pet, a Death Path, and a um, Fern Lawrence pet. And um, sorry for the card, by the way. You can also check out the perks pe uh, shop, which I didn't even know about, which can um, get yourself pet perks, which is really cool. Um, the healer for 15 billion GP grants you an HP region boost once you have that custom pet. Then the dominator which costs 20 billion GP. And this will grant you a chance to lifesteal 10% of your uh, damage to any monster. And then you have the looter which will allow your pet to automatically loot all the drops. So real quickly I just took out these three pets. So this is the Lawrence pet which... Uh, but it just looks like Father Lawrence basically. Then you have the Santa pet, which uh, is basically Santa Claus of course, which looks really funny. He's like a small fat dude. 
And then you have the death pet, which looks really cool. Like it's the Grim Reaper following you. Like that just looks amazing. Now besides those three pets that I just showed, there are a bunch of other pets as well. Like you have all these bossing pets here, right here. Um, from every single pulse basically. You also have a, reg a regular pet, extreme pet, sunfreed pet, obsidian pet, uh, hard mode trio pet, hair monkey pet, which are all custom as well. Oh, you also have a wildy one pet. I want to showcase this one. This will probably look really sick. Yeah, there we go. I love the Wildy Wooden look, so that's why I wanted to show that. Then um, these have some donator symbols with them, so I guess these are like donated pets only. Um, but they look really cool though, as you can see. Oh, I like this one, the Tiny Galiga. Um, looks really nice. And then the Sunfreed pet as well. Uh, and then um, what else do we have? The Obsidian pet. And um, oh, Obsidian pet looks really sick with the uh, uh, particles and stuff. And then you have the Heart Mode Trio pet, which uh, also looks really nice. Speaking of the hard mode trio, this I will go over in just a second. I just need to uh, grab the key real quick. All right, so once you have the trio key, which has six charges, by the way, um, you can get the trio key pieces by killing the three single bosses that I showcased in my last video. You also have to kill them for um, the bones for the first part of the quest series. But once you have that key, you can teleport to the hard mode trio and also the hair monkey. It's two different bosses, but the uh, the hard boss, uh, the hard mode trio is actually one of the harder bosses if you ask me um, you can do this solo you can actually start a private instance or join an existing instance I'm going to start a private instance for now I'm going to do slow and um, yeah I'll pay so only I can enter now um, once you create an instance as you can see the time remaining you have one hour before the instance ends um, so then you can bank and you can grab yourself some uh, food and potions if you want to I'm just going to take an eradicator potion um, together with an overload. I don't know if these can actually stack, but I'll just use these two and I'll showcase um, a hard mode trio. As you can see, Arrow just killed his 1700 hard mode trio, which is actually quite insane because I thought this boss was quite hard. So, um, yeah, here we go. Stats are boosted and uh, let's enter. Let's have a look if we can. Uh, Make, get a kill here because these are actually quite hard um, last time I tried it I actually failed super hard so um, yeah hopefully this time around we won't fail um, as you can see they have like a bunch of really cool combat scripts which uh, deal a lot of damage and um, yeah I can basically die super fast here I should have brought like another method than uh, melee only because as you can see melee is absolutely bad here you should bring range or um, mage I think just to get a distance because as you can see this thing if you stand right next to it you will get you will get stacked out with 50 so yeah that's quite hard um, and of course yeah besides that you still have to do a bunch of damage as well but um, yeah I'm just going to check if I can get a kill and I'll be back in a second with you guys okay so I just got a kill and I only got myself a 100 mil ticket which isn't too bad Anyways, after failing some of these kills, um, I'm just going to go continue my video. I actually got something really cool to uh, showcase, which is the 10 bill XP cape. Now, if you get a total of over 10 billion experience in all your skills, you can actually get yourself this 10 billion XP cape. Now, this cape looks actually really cool. Now, besides this look, you can actually change the color to it um, to blue, red, yellow, basically whatever you want. So, whatever you, uh, fits your uh, fashion cape. I honestly like the red the most because black with red just looks really cool. Um, but also you have the amulet of completion, which you can actually obtain by completing all oh whoops by completing all the achievements right here in the trophy tab. As you can see, you need to complete 50 boss slayer tasks, 50 slayer tasks, deal over 10,000 damage on the melee dummy, unlock all available loot beams, achieve 50 mil worth of items from thieving stalls, um, gain over 10 billion experience kill the this one kill the king uh, queen black dragon kill nomad and do the three quests and then complete the fight gifts now once all that is done you get yourself these this amulet of completion which not only looks really cool it's like a white fury but also has like these two blades on the back which is really cool but also has really good stats as you can see and combining this with the cape this already gives really good stats and also a few bonus perks, so that is very nice. Now another piece of uh, important information may be the donator ranks. So if you type colon colon donator perks, you will actually be taken to the forums page where all the donator ranks are explained. As I already mentioned, there are three. Uh, there is a uh, third best donator rank that I am actually giving away. 
Um, so definitely make sure you enter that. But if you go to the forums, you can actually check out all the perks of the donator ranks. So you have the regular donator, which costs $25 or 30 to 35 billion in game. Um, you can also combine this uh, with, uh, you can combine two regular donators um, to get an upgrade. So um, yeah, I did not mention this yet, but actually if you combine two ranks, you can actually get the upgraded version of that rank. So that is really nice as well. Now moving on, you can see you get a bunch of commands right here, also uh, the extreme zone which you can uh, do a bunch of stuff in. You also get an XP bonus of 1.7 times the normal XP rates. Then once you upgrade to a super donator rank which costs $50 or $100 billion in game, you can also combine this by uh, combining two extreme donator ranks. Um, so yeah, with the super donator rank you unlock these new commands um, which is Sunfreed or the super bus, boss. Uh, and the super zone of course in the super zone you get the wise old man a grinder for super bones a replenishment for special tech you will no longer take damage when using overload and you get a 2.5 times xp boost also the ability to use the command curses on or curse off uh, for your prayer book then the third and best donator rank this is the one i am giving away which is 100 dollars in the donation store or 200 to 250 bill in game you can combine two super donator ranks to actually get this um, and then you get all the commands from the super donator commands plus the eradication zone command and the brutals which are two new zones for um, this rank um, in the eradication zone you get an elite guardian and another grinder also you get a drop rate bonus of 1.3 times the normal drop rate and an xp boost of three times upgrading from there is the legendary donator so the prices are 200 dollars in the store 400 bill in game you can combine these by the, doing these two you have access to these new commands and then you have a supreme donator which is 400 dollars is really expensive um, and then of course you get some more um, new commands as well you also get an xp boost of six times the normal rate which is really sick and then there is a brand new rank which isn't actually released yet but will be released in the upcoming days now this is the hero donator rank as you can see it will have a stable xp boost of 3.5 times now the xp boost on the others is not stable so it will go away after a bit of time um, but you get also a forum name animation a permanent legendary donator benefit so you get double spell power to create uh, elite obsidian after completing the three quests double vote tickets double slayer points and you get a free jenny pet perk uh, so yeah basically the santa dead or um the lawrence pet and then you also get new commands the hero zone which is still going to be added and the hero boss which is also still going to be added now another really cool feature is actually once you are in game you can actually click on the escape button on your keyboard or actually click on the um button right here to log out and then you will get a new option menu which is customly made and you can check out your keybind settings as you can see if you type uh, click on for example the home button you can actually set a command so i will set the home teleport to my home button on my uh, on my keyboard so now if i press my home button on my keyboard i will actually teleport to the home area as you can see right there so that is actually really cool you can do this for a bunch of other um keys as well but i'm not going to touch my f keys because i use these for my inventory and stuff oh actually it's only from f6 so you can basically put anything you want uh, i'll put f6 for boss teleport so now if i press f6 the boss teleports will go open you can actually check the god wars bosses the combat trio ceasing it dead lotus and you can go through all these pages to check out all these um bosses that you can go to so yeah that is actually a really nice feature as well anyways that's going to be it for this video guys don't forget to enter the giveaway but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace